try to save as many people as we can. Sometimes that doesn't mean everybody. But you don't give up. Welcome to the After Talk movie review where we talk about all your favorite movies and whether you should watch them or not. Mm -hmm. Joining me today's episode is my brother Gabriel Lim. How are you doing, man? Sup, people? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me here. Hey, it's no problem. Always good to have a new guest on the show. So, let's talk about Civil War. Captain America. Ooh, oh my god. Shit was pretty, that shit was pretty cool. I think we were very satisfied with it after the whole anticipation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the movie was overall very satisfying. I won't say it was disappointing. I won't say it was too awesome, but it was satisfying. It was satisfactory. I don't think it did like it overdid with the action. I mean, no, action was awesome. Action was awesome. Maybe yeah, action was actually pretty, 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 pretty good. I mean, I loved it. <laughs> Captain you, America, yo! Yeah, man. If you if you really love the Winter Soldier and how the choreography fights, you will see a lot more stuff here. Especially when you have all the all the heroes fighting with each other. The way the whole planning of all the action scenes was very, very well done. Yeah, and did you know that uh, the action sequence for John Wick, they were the same people who did. I can see when for Are us. you kidding me? Yeah, oh. for Captain America. Hey, that's pretty dope, yo. Okay, let's go and talk about what well, our favorite parts of the movie. Ant-Man, yo. Ant-Man! <laughs> Sizable! <laughs> Woo! That was, yeah, that was, that was cool. The only thing I didn't like was he was really slow. Um, as a giant. Yeah, was, I mean, even, um, um yeah. some, someone was, was saying, why would he be so slow when he's slower. a gigant, gigantic? Yeah, it's not, it's not like, um, but it, it's kind of the, the usual thing when you have something big, like a huge machine or a huge robot, it's like, it's, it moves like, so much slower, like, because it's, it's heavier, yeah. like, because you're heavier, gravity works on you 10 times more. Yeah, but you should I be, guess. I don't know, 10 times stronger, I guess. Hmm. Because if you shrink down and you're not like, I mean, any more lighter. Yeah, everything's. <laughs> how can he be really tiny and he can move like about the same thing? I mean, like how he is normally. But yeah. when he goes big and then he just moves down. Maybe they, maybe some of the, the the writers for the story decided, okay, let's just add this in as for a bonus since Ant Man is in this movie <laughs> when he was sitting on Hawkeye's arrow. Oh yeah, oh, that man. was. Um, yeah, yeah, that was. <laughs> I, I almost that. forgot Hawkeye would come back for this for this movie, but he was in the trailer. So uh, pretty yeah, much he was in the trailer. But yeah, in the course of the movie, before that scene, you kind of like phase out Hawkeye because you don't think about him at all <laughs> until like <laughs> True, when he comes to save Wanda. I mean, this is pretty <coughs> much uh, also a, a Captain America movie through and through. Yeah, it's yeah. Surrounded on on his arc of the story. That's why they had. And Peggy Carter, oh my god. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, the other thing I love about this movie was uh, Sharon Carter. Sharon Carter. Hey. <laughs> Black Widow, who the heck is Black Widow? I want Sharon Carter. <laughs> oh, there was Sharon Carter. See where Cat finally kisses her. Yeah. Fucking and, and <laughs> in the car with her like, mm-hmm. It's uh -huh. my man, <laughs> finally. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty dope. Even he admitted it was a bit late, that kiss. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess this is gonna be the last time we're gonna have to see Peggy Carter. See yeah, Coffin. exactly. It's kind of sad, but you know, sad. she's old. The only one left is Bucky. Mm -hmm. Both of them being a hundred years old already yeah. considered. <laughs> Bromance, best Next friends level. forever. <laughs> Some people argue that uh, Iron Man was a bit too sad, too mopey in this movie. Do you think it was too much? Yeah, that's the thing I didn't like about the movie. It's like the whole thing. They kind of like based it on Iron Man's past, which was never, never, ever, ever mentioned in the previous movies. It was never highlighted about Yeah, not in the other Avengers movies. Or I, I, I felt like they kind of brought it in purposely just for this movie in order to bring that, that, that last conflict, that last... Um, the final fight between Bucky and... Yeah, Bucky yeah. And Bucky. So that was like really... It was, it's actually it quite, quite moving. I think it, the writers decided to just... Um, I mean, it, it does make sense to a certain extent that he does feel a lot of guilt for whatever he's done yeah. previously. So focused on in, in this movie. And then Captain America, on the other hand, is like, 
you know, we try our best to save everyone, but we cannot save everyone. Obviously, it's impossible yeah, yeah. to save every single person. Yeah, obviously, we're on Team Cap. We're on Team Cap. Uh, we're on team cap. <laughs> I'm on Team Cap because, yeah, people, you know, some people are going to die anyway. Like, and it's not their fault. Uh, yeah, it's like, not, I mean, it's not entirely their fault, but this is, it, it's like war. You have war, people die, you know? And you, see, you got bad guys and the good guys, and you got the people in between, like middlemen. So, and the only ones that don't die in this movie are the heroes. Everyone fights yeah, and bashes exactly. each other up, but no one actually dies. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the Black Panther, though. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Black Panther. Black Panther. Suit. <laughs> Sing, woo! Wolverine with Claus. Yeah, yeah. But who's Wolverine? Wolverine? Forget about Wolverine. Vibranium Claus. The, the only thing I didn't like about Black Panther was the way he talked. I mean, it was his African what? accent, but like, whenever he talks, he had the same tone like throughout the movies. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was like there was no different okay. kind of expression to it. I know it was just the accent, but it's, yeah, I, I, I didn't think he carried out people too well. Now, I didn't pay too too much attention on, on that. Maybe because I, as he was introduced to us, he's the prince, the young prince of Wakanda, so he has a sort of really royalty presence about him that's why mm-hmm. the way he spoke yeah. was as such i like how everyone just addressed him as like captain america saw captain black panther and he was like your highness he's like captain oh my gosh his yeah. voice was is so fitting in the whole costume yeah, it was so oh cool. my gosh the chase scene with the uh, winter soldier oh yeah and all these you know, yeah, all yeah that was really cool yeah even captain america he didn't catch up he had a car he had to take a car <laughs> yeah take the car he had to take the car but he had to steal the bike from black panther and black yeah, panther was, he was like super okay fast, use your environment jump on the yeah. cars jump on the copter yeah. everything man but i like how they made him look like uh every action sequence was really cat like so like whenever he made a jump he was landing like really silently and yeah. everything was like really smooth and this guy is like this nigga. <laughs> I think it was a bit cliche when they had the father die so quickly yeah I think like, that was a little bit too rough yeah because I'm if I'm not mistaken the father used the father would have been a black panther himself so maybe in the standalone movie we'll see more of him or yeah and the explosion was see. like yeah I don't know the, it was not too near and I think it's gotta be like a yeah, very it, the explosion would have huge, impacted um, T'Challa the same way it impacted the father. I would have thought, but maybe he's younger, so he survived it. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Okay, then next up we got Spider Man. Ooh, I like this guy. This guy, what's his name? Tom. Tom Holland. Tom Holland. He did. He did a good job. I mean, if you ask me, I I'd say he beat Andrew Garfield hands down. Yeah, for me, I I. I didn't, I wasn't a fan of Andrew Garfield, yeah, so whoever haters out there who are fans of Andrew Garfield, I'm so sorry, it just didn't, yeah, his Peter Parker didn't appeal to me. Like it this. was okay, it was okay. Yeah, it was okay. Like, like this guy, this guy yeah. was a little bit, I mean he's a little bit too kitty for Spider-Man this time around, but Yeah, maybe, they went yeah. for a very, very young yeah. uh, Peter Parker. But I like his aunt though. Aunt May, sexy Aunt May, that's the first! But yeah, it's not first a time. traditional sweet lady. Um, We're having a very fashionable hipster yeah, anime. Yeah, I mean, I, it's actually uh, uh, reflective on one of the recent Spider-Man cartoons where you have a slightly younger Aunt May, even though she has the white hair, but she's very slim figured. She's still right, an independent right, right, working right. woman. So I think they went towards that direction. And even like Iron Man was saying, usually attractive yeah. Aunt May. <laughs> but I, I like this Spider-Man as well because... Um, <coughs> Uh, he's still fresh with his powers, yeah, he's and still quite really fresh. Yeah, a lot of room to to grow. And yeah. now that he's he's met Tony Stark, I think Tony Stark's gonna help him too. Yeah, you know, exactly. So that, that, that leaves uh, a lot of room for development for this upcoming Spider-Man, which is gonna have a standalone movie called Spider-Man: Homecoming. Yeah, Spider-Man: Homecoming. Yeah, and that that's something to look forward to. Some were complaining about his costume. Do you think? His costume right. is too rubbery. Yeah, I, I think his costume is fine. It's Spider-Man. He wears spandex. Because the previous movies, people would like some of the older costumes because of the fabric kind of look to it. Whereas this one, this one was more, more like CGI. I mean, it's basically yeah. CGI. I mean, I'm pretty sure most the majority of the action scenes were CG, um, but I don't mind the, the design. Yeah, I didn't mind it either. It was back to one of the class, more classical. Yeah, Spider-Man. And what, it felt fresh. To me, it felt fresh. Something like new to see on screen. What do you think of uh, Baron Zemo? 
Baron Zemo. Him and Crossbones, those were the only two. Oh like, yeah, Crossbones real, real died villains. really quick though. Crossbones died really, really quick. I was expecting him to be the the guy who actually killed Steve Rogers eventually. Yeah, I think a lot of yeah. people would have anticipated him to be one of the the big villains in the Captain America solo movies. But here's the thing, we I don't know if they're gonna make any more Captain America solo movies. Too. Yeah, I'm not too sure about yeah, that. Yeah, because the next uh, few movies coming up is the Avengers Infinity War, which they're already shooting, I, I assume. And Infinity War Part 2. So, yeah, it's it's um, hard to tell whether they're going to make any more Captain America movies. I like how some of the... they, they use the hero's powers to complement each other. Like yeah. Scarlet, like how we practice. And zoop, <laughs> let's Captain America up. And Falcon gets a new uh, Red Wing. Oh uh, yeah, he has his, his own pet. Yeah, his, his own mechanical pet. pet. <laughs> Which is pretty useful. Yeah, and Scarlett Johansson's like, no, I'm not thanking this. <laughs> Come on, it's cute. <laughs> oh yeah, Zemo. Ah, uh, Baron Zemo. Zemo. Yes. Did you ever wonder how would he have any idea about Winter Soldier's relation to Tony Stark's parents' death? To begin with planning... That's a, that's a very yeah, good question. I mean, I, I never thought of that. I, I was wondering, how would he know it in the first place? I mean, I, yes, I know he's a Hydra agent, or... Is he a Hydra agent? He is that, a Hydra yeah, agent. I was curious about that as well. I, if Correct me if I'm wrong, um, because as far as I remember, because I watched it once, he only mentioned about his family's death during the Sokovian incident, the, the yeah. Age of Aldrin incident. Yeah. So, yeah, I can't remember as well whether he was actually a Hydra agent. It seemed like he was... Yeah, I think based on the comments, he was a Hydra agent. Yeah, it um, would make more sense then. I mean, his idea of bringing the Avengers to kill each other is not, is not a bad thing. That's, it's a good idea. But <laughs> him being this like mastermind kind of character wasn't too... Didn't make such an impact on, yeah. on us. Okay, you have to look out for two end credit <coughs> scenes here. The first end credit scene, the mid end credit scene, was uh, a peek at how Black Wakanda Panther. looks. Black yeah. Panther's land. Black Panther land. It was um, Thundercat-ish. Uh, yeah, it just reminded me of Thundercat. Yeah. <laughs> the whole monument of the Black Panther. Like, literally a Black Panther monument. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It, it felt too cartoonish for me. That end credit for Black Panther. Did you notice the that 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 girl, the ball girl that was walking towards the car? Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, I think yes, that yes. was an Easter egg. For I don't know who she is, but she Some... seems like badass, yo. Yeah, um, even that just that one line just said, "Move or you will be moved" or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And no, then <laughs> the Prince of Wakanda was like, like <laughs> "As much as we would like to see that, please move." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some were saying that uh, maybe she is. Storm because Black Panther does get get um, yeah, but Storm isn't Storm. that that I don't know yeah, and Storm is already in the X Men universe, yeah, so, so we're not it's yeah. Be, it's gonna be weird if it's maybe that's Storm. a different character. If, yeah, if you are a Black Panther fan, let us know in the comments whether maybe she's uh, the female she Black is. Panther because I'm pretty sure there was a comic on the female Black Panther as well. So uh, let's give this movie a verdict. I would give it a s seven. A solid 7 out of 10. It was a fun movie. I mean, overall, it was a fun movie. It wasn't as impactful as Avengers because it was everything was just so wow. But this one was, uh, it was more of, they focused more on collaborating everybody into one movie. Uh, even though Avengers did that, but I think this one was a juggle yeah. between having all the characters and a fair amount of screen time pretty well. Yeah. And even the, the pacing, even though it was like, a very long movie. I didn't feel it was too rushed. No, most, most I, uh, yeah, it was a pretty long storyline. Yeah, it was two and a half hours. It was long. decent. It was decent. And I would give it an eight because I re I just enjoy. It's just how I felt coming out of that movie. <laughs> I really enjoy all the action scenes, seeing all the different characters uh, fight each other, and how even uh, little things like how Spider Man was geeking over. Oh hi, hi everyone. Oh Captain America, yeah. a big fan. Yeah, that was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> when he fought with Captain America and he tricked Spider-Man into holding up yeah, holding yeah, yeah. up that container. <laughs> Just showing who's boss. He still has a lot to learn. Thank you guys so much for joining us on another After Talk movie review. We will see you guys next time for more awesome reviews. And you can follow then. you can follow me on my social media stuff. I'll put the links below. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>